Hey everybody, testing out the audio. Let me know how everything sounds, uh, how the music is, all that stuff. I was hoping Jimbo would go into his throne for the cat cam, but he is being a little ornery butthead today. So I just got him to shut up for a second. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> um, but I'll be on in just a sec. Um, just, yeah, testing out audio. I think I'm almost all set up though, so it shouldn't be too long. But I'll be on in a sec. Right. Let's check the cat cam. I'm pretty sure it's empty. Jeez. Okay. Then let's just get going. Hopefully Jimbo will, Jimbo will be there eventually. Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit slower today. Well, I guess I'm always a little bit slow to start. Um, but you know, we get grooving, we get moving. Sorry Jimbo is not wanting to go into his cat cam today. I don't know why. Also, why can't I pause this? Hold on, hold on. There we go. I think we're good. Um, okay, so, <laughs> how, are, how are you doing, Samantha? How is everybody doing? Hey, Loretta. Nice to see you. Hi, say hi, Jimbo. Did you hear him? You want to say hi again? Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let's show. Let's say hi. Oh, say hi. Hopefully, he's going to go into his 
to the Jimbo throne soon. That's what we call his little beanbag chair. Because he's always the one in it. Um, okay. Ready, bud? Okay, you're gonna do great. I believe in you. I do, I do. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I gotta do an intro, and then we can... Yeah, well, I, I'm doing something. Okay, well, bye. Okay. <laughs> he is a lot today. Uh, we've already played pretty heavily, so hopefully he'll chill out soon. Usually he takes a pretty good nap after we, after we play for a while. But, hi. Today we are going to be making some miniature dragons, a brand new pattern that I just came out with. Um, it is in the library now if you want to check it out. I actually made it totally free today. You can find it right here at clubcrochet.com slash dragon. There's a link in the chat. There's a link in the description. And it's totally free today. I'm going to make it free probably for a couple of days. Um, but then I'm going to make it a member exclusive. So you'll need a membership on my website, which we're going to talk about in a second. Okay, now before we get going, let's talk about the materials that you're gonna need to crochet along with me today if you wanna crochet. Um, this is a pretty quick, easy pattern, so you should be able to finish at least one while we're live, well, while the live stream's going. I'm gonna try to get like maybe three, maybe four of them done today. Um, we're gonna have a hard cutoff at 6 p.m., which is in three hours, my time. Um, and uh, because my mom's coming over, we're gonna do dinner and I'm gonna show her how to take care of the cats because I'm going away this weekend. Doesn't matter. Um, video quality is bugging G. Is anybody else having problems with the video quality or is it just G? Let me know in the chat. Um, okay, so for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm gonna be using all worsted weight yarn and 100% cotton. Today, you're gonna to need one main color and then white for the eyes, or if you want a secondary color for the eyes. We are currently doing a vote for which color you want me to make uh, our first dragon in. Your options are between pink, green, blue, and rainbow. So go ahead and vote. The vote should be in uh, pretty soon. We'll try. We'll choose a winner in just a second as I do this intro. Um, you're also gonna need this crochet hook, of course. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook today. It's the best. I think it's the best hook to use uh, for cotton yarn, personally. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors, of course. You'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimp done like this. You'll need some safety eyes. You can either use six millimeter safety eyes or eight millimeter. We're going to be voting on that later. Um, I also have some other eye options, so we might change up the eyes. Uh, but yeah, we will see what y'all want me to do. Um, you'll need some stuffing, just a little bit. You won't need very much. Oh my God, Jimbo is literally upside down right now on his back, just licking his paws and being really cute. Uh, you'll need some magnets. Now you don't need these magnets, but it's a great uh, option for making your um, little dragons magnetic. I like to put them in their head and their butts so that they can stack on top of each other or they can attach to anything metal so they can like perch on, on curtain rods or on nails in the wall. I think it's a really fun way to add things to them and make them really easy to hide around the house. So that is my suggestion. Um, I'm using these super strong neodymium magnets here. Um, I believe they're 12 millimeters uh, by like one millimeter if you wanna find some yourself. They're extremely strong um, and you'll probably need like four to six of them depending on how strong you want your magnets to be. Um, okay, so that's all the materials that you're gonna need. Go ahead and vote for the uh, yarn color in the chat. And uh, let's talk about ways you can help support this channel if you'd like to while y'all are getting your uh, materials. Okay, uh, oh, I forgot to mention one other thing that we're gonna do today. I do still have some of my giant yarn that we used for our giant dragon crochet along a few weeks ago. So I thought, let's make a giant baby dragon if we can in this video. But first, let's make them a normal sized dragon, right bud? Oh my God, he's literally just rolling around in all the yarn. <sighs> I wish you could see how cute he is right now. It's crazy. Okay, uh, if you like this channel and you'd like to help support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The bestest, bestest way, actually no, this isn't the bestest way, but it is the freest way and a very easy way to do it. Like this video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Post about crochet patterns that you make with our channel. Just spread the word. 
That is probably the easiest, freest way to support this channel. If this video gets 250 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream. We did one last live stream, but we didn't hit the 250 goal. So this time we're gonna try it again. 250 likes and we'll do a giveaway next live stream. So like this video down below. Uh, if you wanna help support this channel monetarily, you can help support the best way with a Club Crochet memberships. Memberships start at only $5 a month and it's a great way to support this channel. Not only do you get access to all of my tutorials, we're talking almost, I think we're over 300 patterns now on the website. I add new ones every single month. There's new tutorials, you get discounts for the shop. It's a really good way to support this channel and you get a lot back for it. So that's probably the best way. Um, if you wanna learn more about memberships, Cooper just put something in the chat, but you can go to Club crochet.com slash membership or just go to club crochet.com in general and sign up um, other ways you can help support this channel monetarily you can help support by purchasing kits and merch in the store um, we got a whole bunch of different kinds of merch including a new jimbo t-shirt that i just added to the store i'm supposed to get the stickers and pins added to the store very soon we do have some pins but not that many um, and there's some kits available uh stickers Am I missing anything there, Jimbo, for purchasing merch? He's just licking his butt, so. Uh, <laughs> um, other ways to support monetarily is by tipping. If you really like what's going on here and you really wanna support, uh, you can help support by giving a tip to me. Um, you can do that by just going to clubcrochet.com slash tip or using the link in the description or there is a little dollar icon in the chat. You can use that to help support uh, monetarily with a tip as well. If you do, I'm gonna add something to our background here. I don't know how well you can see the background. Let's switch it to him just to give you a reference. Oh, wow, look how laggy this is. That's crazy. I mean, the good thing is it doesn't need to be not laggy, but that is crazy. <laughs> um, if you help support with a tip, I add something to the background here. For $10, we're gonna add you to the tree. This is supposed to be a tree, but my dad has not finished the metal tree that I have him working on. So hopefully soon we'll have a giant tree here that we'll be adding a bunch of stuff to. If you help support monetarily at all, um, even for less than $10, I'll add a pom-pom to this growing little pile here that we're gonna add to the tree once we have a tree. Um, but if you help support for $10 or more, I'll add something to the background. Uh, and let's actually already get started. Cooper supported for $10. He says, happy Thursday, right back at you, Cooper. Thank you so much. You're the best. Let's pick something to add to the background. Um, okay, 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 okay. Well, for first tip, let's see, let's see. Of course, we got our baby dragons. We could add one of those to the background. We need something magnetic. You know what, how many mice do we have back here? I think you might've gotten a mouse last time too, but you know what we don't have? Well, first off, we don't have anything purple and we definitely don't have a little purple mouse. So we're gonna add a tiny purple mouse for Cooper. Look at how crazy his eyes are. So we're gonna add this right, oh, this guy fell over somehow. You know what, we'll add it right on top of our hand there. That's perfect. Toy fit. Okay, let's get back to this. Oh, where's Jimbo? Oh, he's under the cat cam. He's under it. What a dingus. Um, yes, a Jimbo pin is on its way. I literally ordered it uh, two weeks ago, and they said that it would get to me in three weeks. So it should be in this uh, store pretty, pretty freaking soon, too. Okay, let's see what y'all voted for for the... Uh, color of yarn. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, yep, that's exactly what I thought. Rainbow, I knew it, you know, I put rainbow up there and I was like, rainbow's definitely gonna win. Um, again, if you wanna check out this pattern with me, it's just at clubcrochet.com slash dragon. It should take you straight to the pattern. It's totally free um, for the next few days. Uh, we're gonna choose an eye in a little bit. I think we, actually, you know what? A rainbow one is gonna require an eight millimeter eye. And the reason for that is because the eight millimeter eyes make the eyes extremely cute. Uh, and when you're making a rainbow dragon, you're gonna want a cute dragon. So we're gonna use the rainbow yarn for, or for, or we're gonna use eight millimeter eyes for this rainbow yarn. Let's get our 
workstation all prepped. Sometimes I like to do stuff like that. Oh, look how look how classy. That's a classy workstation right there. That's a that's a nice classy. That's classy right there. All right, rainbow yarn. Well, I really hope Jimbo doesn't come over here because this yarn has to like is in a ball on the floor and he has known. Wait, hold on. I need to do. There we go. I just need to fix where the focus was. Um, when yarn is in a ball on the floor, that means it is Jimbo's property. So until he notices it, we'll be good. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making our little tiny wings. I made these wings uh, on a whim one night. I was like, you know what? I wanna add like, I wanna try to make little tiny wings. And so I tried this very simple pattern and I was like, oh my God, that worked insanely well. First try. It was one of those like first try things that I just, it changed like everything. I was like, oh my God, that was so cool. You know, you know when you crochet something or make something in general and you're just like, wow. And you feel like you can do anything. And you feel like, and you feel like you could do anything. That's how I felt. Put the ball in a cup. That's probably, uh, that's just too smart for me. That's too smart. I can't do that. It's too, too that's too good of an idea. <laughs> that makes too much sense. That's too logical is the problem. You're being too logical here. <laughs> All right. Let's finish with a single crochet here. I did a video tutorial for this pattern too, by the way. So if you want, uh, if you're looking for a tutorial, like me to explain things in this video, uh, I will not be doing this in this live stream because I already did that video. So I'm not going to do that again. I just want to hang out with y'all and crochet. Look at that little wing, super quick, super easy and so adorable. This is going to be great for bats later on. I think I'm going to do a new, very tiny. I have two mini bat patterns already, but I think I want to do one more mini bat pattern because these wings are just too cute not to. Too cute not to. Oops. Oh, Linda is making the brontosaurus pattern. Very cool. Found the live crochet along for directions for sewing on the spine. Awesome. I'm actually going to be, uh, I should be working on a tutorial, a new video tutorial for that pattern. Uh, honestly, I should have been working on that like last month, but there's just been so much going on that I just haven't had a chance to yet. Um, but I would like to update the video tutorials for that and the four main dinosaur patterns pretty soon. Um, looking at the Triceratops, the T-Rex, the Stegosaurus, and the Brontosaurus. I want to do a new video tutorial for all of them. Because I actually have some new dinosaur crochet kits on their way. Um, they should be here in May. And uh, they are so cool. I haven't been really talking about that much. But I've basically... I've got a new means of production. Let's just go with that for these kits. And uh, we're using this new yarn that is just so cool. I'm just, I'm really, really, really excited. So in the process of getting that prepared, I thought, oh, let's do a new video tutorial for all these dinos also. So I really should have been working on that uh, for the past forever, but I haven't yet. But honestly, making those dinos now at this point I've made like hundreds of them it's just second nature for me so it shouldn't be too hard to get that worked on okay so we got the the um, wings made I'm gonna work on I'm gonna mark those off in the pattern by the way if you're following along in the written instructions online it has check marks to keep track of progress so I just marked off that we made our two wings just to make sure you know I mean, I'm, I won't be, forget really, they're right here, but it's just nice little addition. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Bean Bean is uh, writing a short film and procrastinating, they need help. Bean Bean, you got this. Just sit down and write. Honestly, what I like to do when I write, and this is not gonna be good for my channel, but I would say don't, don't have anything audible on that has words in it use use like 
music from video games or lo-fi hip-hop channels or something like that that's usually a good way for me to help stop procrastinating but also you know we'll be here if you want to hang out <laughs> if you want to procrastinate uh, how was Jules's show? I am going to see Jules's show on Saturday. I'm actually leaving tomorrow for San Francisco. So, um, so yeah, we'll be. I, I will let you know in the next live stream. Uh, by by the way, Jules is doing a show in San Francisco. She's going to be in a uh, a musical called um, called Merrily We Roll Along. It's a Sondheim show. Uh, if you're familiar with, um, uh, if you're familiar with Into the Woods, he's the guy that made Into the Woods. So it's it's a more unknown one of his musicals. And she's been in San Francisco for the past month, uh, rehearsing and getting ready for that. And finally, the show opens uh, on Saturday. So I'm super duper excited. Uh, Danielle, uh, did I miss something? I thought you already lived in San Francisco. I did live in San Francisco for a very long time. Uh, I just moved down to Southern California in August. Um, because, honestly, it's because we're looking to hopefully eventually find a place to buy. And there was no real options in San Francisco. And Jules can work from home. And we were... We were both kind of like, ah, it's time for a change. So we moved down to Southern California. Goal being to move to um, Ventura City pretty soon. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, fingers, fingers super crossed. And if you want to help support, uh, tips go a long way. <laughs> oh, Aaron, speaking of. Oh, my God, I almost missed a tip. Thank you so much, Aaron. Let's add something to the background. Let's see. You know, that was talking big talk. I should add something good for Aaron. Let's add... We haven't been really adding too many burbs back there. Oh, you know, we already have one of these ones. Let's add... Let's add... Oh. Okay, all right, all right. I've been saving this one, but you know what? That was big talk. It's time for something good to add to the background for you, Aaron. Thank you so much for your support. We're gonna add... Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember this guy's name. Someone remind me their name. The great captain himself. Oh, you know what? Let's change, let's change screen so you can see him. Our cap, our captain, um, oh, Squawk? No, captain, cap, captain. What did we name this guy? We made this in a live stream, but I can't remember what his name was. Can anybody remember? He's a burb, of course. Man, I can't remember what their name was. It's a, I mean, look how cute. It's a seagull with a French fry sword. I mean, come on, that's the cutest thing ever. Okay, well anyhow, I'm gonna add this to the background right here so that we have something else to add to the tree eventually. And that's gonna be out for you, Aaron. Uh, hopefully all year long. I mean, it definitely will be all year long, but I'm more like, there's a lot going on here and we are like three months in. This is going to be insane, <laughs> insane by the end of the year. Um, okay, okay, back to, back to it. Uh, Loretta, thank you for subscribing. I, I think I saw you in the chat earlier. Uh, I just noticed that you subscribed to the channel. Thank you. Um, okay, back to it, back to it. You know what sucks is that every time I do that, it wipes the chat clean and that sucks. I don't want the chat wiped clean. I want it to be consistently going. I don't know. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We made our teeth, we made our wings. We're on the body. We? Ah, oui, we are on the body. C'est vrai. No, that, I think that means it's true. That's true, something like that. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I am very excited to go to San Francisco uh, tomorrow. I'm flying up there. I haven't flying. I haven't flown in like a long time, so I'm excited to go on an airplane again. I personally really, really like airports and flying. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do because I mean, I I just it's just awesome. You're you're literally flying through the sky in a metal tube. Like what? It's magic. Magic. 
Um, ooh. Crochandro says, can you make a beaver tutorial? There's actually, I think that the Bonimals tutorial does include instructions for making a beaver. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. If it doesn't, um, that's definitely something that I've been working on a on an update to that uh, to that book pretty soon. Uh, and then hopefully we can actually get that published into a book. That, that'd be really, really cool. Um, but this is actually one of the patterns that I made for the updated tutorials. I'm also going to be adding an elephant soon, a bear, uh, and then it'd be nice to do that beaver, of course, and then also maybe, um, there was one more that I wanted to add that, that I definitely wanted to add. Can't remember what it was. I can't remember. If anybody remembers, let me know. It might have been a, let's see, a bear, bear, bear dragon. Cow? It might have been a cow. I know there's a moose that we've made. I, You know what? We got to just get back into the Bonneville game soon. Um, okay. Back to it. Back to it. We're making the eyes now. This is the tricky part for this pattern is making the... it. I, well, I would say this pattern isn't like super duper easy. I would say this is probably a medium to hard level pattern just because there's a lot of little bobble stitches and mini bobble stitches and spiked bobble stitches. There's a lot of weird, weird stuff going on, including these eyes here, which looks like I already goofed. There we go. Two and three. I think we're gonna make this dragon, uh, our rainbow one, pretty classic, but maybe we'll do some thin fun and weird on the next one. We'll see. We'll see. A mosaic tutorial. Interesting. Uh, I have, I think that might be one of the first requests for a mosaic tutorial. Perhaps. Uh, that is definitely perhaps. I do have a tutorial I've been working on for something not am Amigurumi related for, uh, that should be coming out in the next few months that I'm pretty excited about. And uh, something really big, which actually I think a lot of people might uh, have might be aware of <clears throat> the new the new thing that we're going to be launching in a couple of weeks, uh, because I've been sending out uh, feedback forms to people to to get their opinions. Uh, anybody who's been a Club Crochet member with me for uh, a long time, like since. I'm going, I'm starting from the oldest members to the newest ones. I'm sending out feedback forms to get, uh, to get feedback on this new, this new thing that I'm launching to see if, just to make sure that everything's all, I got all my, uh, what's the word? Ducks in a row? No, that's not really what I'm talking about. I've got all my, uh, you know, uh, I guess ducks in a row. <laughs> How long have I been crocheting for? I've been crocheting since I was 15. So that's going to be more than half my life. About 16 years now. I have been crocheting. Obsessed. Obsessed. Uh, I would say within a year of crocheting, I, I realized this was going to be like what I want to do for my life. So I made it a big part of my life. Uh, really early on and just kept on kept on crocheting on ivy uh, ivy just hit two years of crocheting in october and they're finally making something for themselves oh my god i totally feel that it is hard to make something for yourself when you know you can make so many gifts oh my gosh overrun with gifts i totally know that there we go That. There we go. There's the spike bubble. I got it. Okay. That stitch was a weird color. It's almost like a brown because it's switching from red to green. Um, and if you didn't know, red and green are opposites on the uh, 
color wheel, so when you're going in between from red to green, it's going to go through a gray-brown area. Just, uh, just something, just something there. All right, so now I am, <coughs> I'm on round three. I'm gonna go ahead and keep our check marks going, so that I don't lose where I'm at. What was that? Oh, jeez. Oh no. The beast, is, the beast is back. That's you. Yeah. You are something else, my friend. My furry, furry friend. One, two, three, and then we work in the front loops. Ay, no scratching. Jeez. You know, you'd think that I torture him or something with the way he complains, but I think the problem really is, is that I am too nice to you, and when you complain, I just give you attention, and that is Clearly not the way I should be doing it. <laughs> oh no, that's not where you're supposed to fall asleep. He's laying on my chair. He always likes to lay as close as he can to me. I should have named him Shadow. Because he's always my shadow. What am I having for dinner tonight? That's a good question. I don't know, actually. I guess me and my mom will figure that out later. She's coming over for dinner, so. Yeah. So I have to clean up after this so that she doesn't realize how messy my house is. All right. One. Two. Yeah, I know, right? Three. All right, this is coming together pretty good. One. Too. If you want to take a look, look at that. You can kind of see how the head is coming together. Those are where the eyes are going to go. Here's our little horns on the back of our head. We got our wings and stuff, obviously. All right, let's keep going. Is Phoebe a very vocal cat? She's a little vocal. <clears throat> Honestly, I have been not on purpose, but hey. Are you done? Buddy, you need to shut up. Now he's just purring. He's like, this is all I wanted was for you to hold me. Sometimes I have to just hold him for like half an hour. Like a freaking baby, you're like a baby. You're so clingy. Has he always been this clingy and affectionate? Yes, 100% of the time. When I went in to go adopt him, he was exactly like this. He has never not been like this. I think that's actually why he might have been up for adoption is because he was this clingy and loving and someone was like, I can't, I can't, this is too much. And I was like, I love him, I can't not. Okay, go lay down, bud. Uh, but yeah, Phoebe is a little bit more talkative than she used to be. Um, I've kind of been inadvertently training her to talk. But... Not nearly. Nothing like nothing like Jimbo, that's for sure. Just when Phoebe's hungry. Phoebe's also the only cat the the only of the two of them that is um food motivated. Jimbo is not food motivated at all. He has um <laughs> t this might be TMI for people, but Jimbo has uh always had a form of cat herpes. Don't go up there. No 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 no. Buddy. Yeah, that's that's the that is the first step to switching off the live stream, and I don't want you to do that. Um, okay, so yes, let me keep talking. You're very distracting right now, bud. He's headbutting the back of my knees, which is a great way to make my legs buckle. This might be entertaining for them, but it's not entertaining for me. Go lay down. <laughs> what was I saying? Something about Phoebe. What was I saying about Phoebe? Eh, I can't remember. You made me lose track. Jimbo loves stealing the attention from Phoebe, by the way. Huge fan of that. 
All right, increase one, two, three, four, five, and then another increase here. It's crazy that I'm able to get anything done with you, dude. I should make hats for Jimbo and Phoebe. Oh my God, that's a great idea. I should crochet them just in general first. I think we might have a, oh, that's right, cat herpes, yes. <laughs> Daniel. That is so funny. What was I talking about? Oh, that's right, herpes. Uh <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah, so Jimbo has cat herpes, which uh, results in him having a really, really bad sneezing problem and snot problem. Dude, stop. You're just yelling. Um, so he can't smell very good. He's always got kind of a clogged nose. We've tried to give him antibiotics. We've tried to, we, we've tried a bunch of different stuff, different kinds of foods, different kinds of like supplements and silly stuff like that. Nothing helps. He's just a sneezy boy. And so he can't eat uh, or he doesn't, he's not very food motivated because he can't smell his food very well. So he doesn't like care about snacks and, and stuff like that. He just eats his dry food. He doesn't eat wet food. He just kinda, so it's hard to train him because he doesn't care about food. He just cares about play and pets and love and attention. Ah, stop head, don't bite me. Oh my God, dude, you are crazy right now. What are you doing? We played so much before this because I didn't want him to be crazy, but he's pretty crazy. You can fight my feet. I'll, I'll allow you to attack my feet, but that is it. Can I host a live stream, crochet a dragon, and play with my cat with my feet all at the same time? We'll find out. Find out now on, oh my God, he's crazy, man. <sighs> That's my reaction to you right now, dude. Just a big sigh. Oh my God, he'll bathe. That's adorable, Ivy. That is so cute. Yeah, I mean, other than the sneezy part, it really hasn't been a problem at all. Like, I have, I would have no idea. Um, but yeah, he is very sneezy. Sometimes he, again, this is probably TMI, but sometimes he shoots the craziest big snot rockets that you're like, what the heck? That's like a human sized booger. And it is disgusting. So you always gotta be on the lookout. You always gotta be ready with the tissue in hand. And if you hear a sneeze, you're like, quick, we gotta grab that sneeze before it <laughs> solidifies. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Apparently it's a really, really um, normal thing for cats to for, yeah, for cats in general. They didn't even, they like barely told me when we were adopting him too. They told me like at the very end of the adoption process and I was like, okay, well, whatever. Uh, Kinst. Hello, Kinst. How are you doing? Are you from, are you coming from Reddit? I'm guessing. That's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna increase here. Yeah, I literally, I just posted to Reddit like right before I started the stream. I was like, uh, I don't know, I'll just post to Reddit. I haven't posted to Reddit in a sec. I think we got one more round here of just single crochets and then I can add the face. Oh my gosh, you have a cat named Kibbington? 
That's the fanciest sounding cat in the world. Hi, Hadel. How are you? How's your day going? By the way, how's everybody's day going? What's everybody crocheting today? Anybody making anything fun? Someone was saying that they wanted to make a bunch of mini dragons from Spyro, but there's 80 of them or something. That's 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 a lot of mini dragons to make. The good news is that these are so quick to make that you could probably finish them within like a couple of weeks, but that is a lot of baby dragons. I was actually thinking um, of starting to crochet a whole bunch of tiny rabbits to hide at my mom's house. I did that last year, and I think it'd be really fun to do again this year for Easter um, because she loves just hiding like Easter stuff around the house and stuff and it hiding things for her at her like it's just it's just really cool when when i'm like hey there's something hidden here it's very fun so i think i'll start working on a bunch of bunnies pretty soon i think this is the first tooth yeah that's the first tooth spot and then the next tooth spot is going to be right next to it right her Oh, cool! Oh, well, thanks, Kinst. I'm glad you joined. Thank you for thank you for popping in. Just out of curiosity, which subreddit did you, are you coming from? Just because I'm, I'm just super curious of how. Yeah. You're making Danielle's making a sweater for their dog. Oh my god, that's so cute. Well, how, how big is your dog? Are you, is it like a Chihuahua? In which case, that's got to be a tiny little sweater. Or is it a big pupper? It's probably a little dog. I feel like you don't make sweaters for big dogs, you know? But I don't know. I don't have a dog. Oh my god, Bean Bean. That is such a good name. Bean Bean's cat's name is Sir Kibbington Boots Fat Butt the Third. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's such a that's such a great name for a cat. Phoebe's name is Phoebe, but I call her Beefy because she's a little chubby. It's, that's kind of my fault because I feed her. And and then she also eats Jimbo's food, so I have to stop feeding Jimbo wet food because he just doesn't even eat it anyhow. And then Phoebe just eats double. And then she becomes a Beefy. She's my little beef. Eleven pounds. Yeah, that's a tiny. Yeah, it's a, it's a relatively tiny dog. I mean, I think Jimbo's eleven pounds. They could fight. He's probably a little more than eleven pounds. He was eleven pounds when we first first got him. Okay. Got them teeth on. Now we want to add the eyes. Okay. Now here's the option for eyes. We can do eyes where they are kind of looking like out and and like like um look at this there's a little Phoebe fur in there oh yes yes oh yeah we got him we got him we got him boys we gotta switch the cat cam now. We might need to move it over a little bit. There we go. Let's let's edit it so that the camera is not so. Cam is a go. Okay, now let's make our eyes. I think I'm gonna make them on the looking inside because I think they're a little bit cuter that way. Oh my god, Zoe, you're ridiculous. I love that idea. 
Zoe wants to make a... They, they want to get a dog so they can crochet matching sweaters for them, their partner, and their dog. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, we're gonna do one eye here. Mr. Beans. I love Mr. Bean. But also that's a cute name for a cat. Oh, Takoyaki. I was just thinking about you the other day, actually. How are you? Can't stay for long, but I'll try to make it next time. Well, thanks for joining even for a second and saying hi. Hope you're doing well. There we go. That's a pretty good spot for an eye. I want to try something on the next dragon for an eye. I've got an idea that might be kind of cool. And maybe a little bit easier. make sure that these eyes we like how these eyes are going that's not bad it's pretty good looks a little cross-eyed but that's kind of cute I think I think I'm happy with it oh yeah that's cute Maybe we should add a tongue. What do you think about a tongue? Maybe on the next one. <clears throat> but what are your opinions on a tongue? Speak now or forever hold your fleece. If you're wearing fleece. If not, then go put on some fleece and then hold your fleece. Or just comment and let me know. All right, so now we're on to our little but it's going to be our tail. They like the idea for Danielle thinks uh, yes to the tongue idea too. All right, we'll we'll take a look at it. One, let me finish this round and then we'll see what a tongue would look like on this one. One, two, three, and four, and then our buckle stitch. second leg by the way I have um, the rules or at least a play test for these rules for stitched if anybody is out there and plays my tabletop game that you crochet stitched um, I call these guys zippers in stitched and their rules are that um, they are well, I'll just rattle them off if anybody wants to write them down. I don't know if this is going to be important for anybody at all out there, but if it is, they have seven health. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. They have five health. They're very weak. You know what? Let me see if I can pull up real quick. Because I wrote it down just in case. There it is. Uh, 
Okay, so they have, they cost 10 gold, so they're really cheap. They have five HP, so they're really weak. Um, they have one strength, so they're, you know, somewhat strong, but not that strong. Zero intelligence, they cannot do the thinky thinkies. Um, and two speed, so they can move at the speed of fast. So if anybody knows what that means in Stitch, that means you can move at the length of a playing card. And then their special ability is there. They can bounce. Um, they can bounce off of characters within one distance of them for an ad additional movement in any direction. And it can be stacked. So they basically work kind of like Chinese checkers. They like hop off of each other's heads. It's really, really fun. But I don't know how many people are out there that play Stitched anymore. But I really, really like this as a character. Hi Becky, how are you? How is your day going? Nice chill Thursday. One more day and then the weekend. How nice is that? Four. All right, we're gonna try to add a tongue after this round. Two. And last stitch here. Okay, so we got our eyes, we got our face. We, we, we're almost done actually. We just need to add the wings and then, but first let's try to add a tongue. Um, I think we should try using this hot pink for the tongue just because, it, you know what actually might be nice is just literally, what do we think of just like a strand of yarn for a tongue coming out? Nah, that's probably too small. We should try at least a chain. Um, they're called zippers in Stitched because they move around really quick. A zipper. Ooh, I just saw, speaking of a zipper, I just saw a bird past the window. Oh, hi, cat. Yeah, isn't that great? He's, he's, in, his, he's in his little spot. Um, okay, we're gonna go, let's do one more chain. Let's try that. Then I'll just do. Yeah, we'll work into the back loop. Like this. Boom. And then one, two, pull tight. Slip stitch into that one. Will that make a very good forked tongue? Maybe. And then one more here. All right, let's see how this looks. There's our forked tongue. It's not that forked, but it's pretty good. Let's see how this looks. If we don't like it, we'll just, we'll scrap it. Am I tired? I'm a little tired. I, I woke up a little later than I wanted to, but I'm doing all right. Honestly, like I start waking up around now. Um, this is usually my waking hour. Let's try it right here. One there. I'm a little tired though. I haven't finished my coffee yet. So that's probably not helping. Look, it's right behind me. After I finish, maybe this little dude, I'll, I'll have some more coffee. It's a break in between, in between dragons. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, I don't know if I like that very much. Nah, I don't like that. that. It doesn't really read tongue. Maybe if it was like that, but even so, I, I don't think it really reads. It looks like he, instead he's got something in his mouth, like he's eating something. Not into it. Not into it, and that's okay. All right, let's add our wings though. We can do that. Which side do we want this wing on? Why don't we do this one over here so to contrast the the horn and then this one over here so it'll contrast the horn so they're not they don't look the same so that's going to be one wing right here and then down here like that too fat of a tongue yeah that's what the problem was Ivy. Yeah, I really want to get a um, a lava run board made, but 
got to work on it. I do have some coffee. I got a little coffee right behind me. So I'll chug that in a second. I just got some cat fur wafted up to my nose. It was like, hey, take a whiff of this. Hey, T-Savvy, how you doing? You're totally savvy. Let me go there to there. I like that you can add these wings on without even having to use like a darning needle. Does make life a lot easier. I think I'll make some of these on the airplane tomorrow actually. Usually when I go on flights, I like to crochet bonimals and then give them to kids that are on the flight. Because they're, you know, I can finish like three of them during the flight. And it's just kind of fun. I always like to crochet something during a flight that I can like finish because I, I, I hate going on a flight and then having like a half done project it's just can be frustrating look at those wings oh my god that's so cute that's perfect wow I really like this rainbow dragon a lot actually he's looking really cute what time did I get up uh, if I tell you you can't make fun of me that's the deal. That's the deal we have, Samantha. I woke up at noon. He, sorry. I did though. It was bad. It was bad. I, I didn't want to wake up that late. It wasn't that I wanted to. It's just Jimbo fell asleep on my head. Phoebe fell asleep in my arms. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Get up? <laughs> It was like 10, right? I wake up, I'm like, okay, it's time to get up. And then, and then Phoebe went and she fell asleep right in my arm right here. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then 10 minutes later, Jimbo came up and fell asleep right on my head like this. And I was trapped. I didn't have any option. I didn't have any option. <laughs> um. Am I gonna crochet a lava run board? Heck yes, I'm gonna crochet a lava run board. Okay, wait, to be fair about what time I woke up this morning, I was up till 5 a.m. writing patterns. So, to be fair, I was up extremely late last night crocheting uh, crocheting and writing. I just got into the zone, you know, sometimes at like, sometimes at like 1 a.m., I don't want it to be this way, but sometimes I just get like really motivated at that time in, at night. Jimbo's asleep. Everything's everyone's asleep. Like everyone in the world is asleep, especially because I'm on the Pacific Coast. So like everybody's asleep at 1 a.m. And I just can tell. Like you know, there's just like this energy out there of like, oh, no one's alive, just me. I'm gonna get so motivated. I'm gonna make so many things right now. And then I do. And then I'm like, then it's like 4 a.m. And I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta write this down. Anyhow. Uh, T Savvy, thank you so much. You're the first one to to mention my haircut. Thank you. I feel very handsome. I have to say, I was I got the haircut and I was like, oh, I feel so much better about myself suddenly. I went from feeling like a schlub to feeling like a bub. A hub? A a, a turkey club. I went from feeling like a schlub to feeling like a turkey club. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, am I gonna crochet a lava run board? Yes, I do want to crochet a lava run board. I have to put a. I want to do that really bad. There's just like a million bazillion projects that I have to do first, and I do have like some big plans for lava run in the next in the next x amount of time. So, but the answer is yes, I do want to crochet a lava run board. I know you have crocheted a lava run board, and I'm sure it's really really cool. So I need to I need to get on it. Um, Susan, Susan asks, what pattern am I writing? I'm writing actually a lot of patterns right now. Um, one of which ended up being way longer, way, way longer than I'm expecting it to be. Um, you know, there's not that many people on here. I can, I can give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. 
Um, I'll show. I'll tell you what. I'll show you one of the patterns that I'm working on, and let you know that this is only like I have. I have literally 20 of these that I have been making, and every single one of them looks different from the last. So that'll give you an idea, okay? Now here is the one that I made the other day. Really cute, I think. Is this the right one? No, that's not the right one. Okay. Just a quick example, okay guys? This is super secret. It's only for you to know. Don't go around telling everybody. Don't go on, okay? I do have to work on my Earth Day pattern. I, I've been really bad about that. But I, I made this one. Look at how cute he is. It's a very cute cactus, I think. And he's got a little friend on his head. And then the best part about the cactus is that they come out of their pots and they have little legs and they've got little buds. I call them cactoids. Okay, that's it. That's the secret. Don't go around telling everybody. That's for you to know. Okay? And there's a lot more where that came from. That pattern is becoming extremely long though. That looks like a really simple pattern, but there are layers upon layers to this pattern. And every day I add more and I'm like, ah, oh, this pattern is getting way too long. <laughs> it's getting really long. It's like, yeah. It's just, it's just becoming a lot. I need to, I need to start to like stop coming up with new ideas for it. Cause it's seriously like, oh my God, <laughs> it's so long. I, my idea right now is to split it up into like little sections instead of doing what I'm planning, but yes. Um, yes, yeah, so there's going to be, I am very, very excited to show you that honestly, honest to God, Pinky Promise, that wasn't even close to the best one that I've made. There are so many of these and I'm just really, really excited. I think you're gonna like it a lot. So I'm working really hard on that. I honestly think that the video tutorial for this pattern is gonna be like a four hour video tutorial because of the way I'm <laughs> doing it. Cause I wanna make it so like you can jump around and you know, you know how I do. I'm trying to be real customizable. Um, okay. Akari, oh, don't worry. This is only the first one. We're going to be making three of these. We're going till six today, uh, and it's only four my time. So we still got two more hours. Uh, we're going to try to make a giant dragon soon, too. Actually, that's that's a... You know what? Let's do a poll, actually, really quick. Let's do a poll. What dragon next? Tiny. Big. Easy, super simple question. You want me to make a tiny, another tiny dragon? You want me to make a big dragon? Let me know in the poll. And if you vote, well, we'll vote again after this to choose colors and stuff like that. By the way, I'm gonna vote. Yes, the evolving life of the cactus. You are sending dinos to North Carolina with a promise of lava run rules to follow? That is so cool, dude. That's so cool. for me all right now we just need to stuff it and sew closed and we'll have one of our beautiful dragons finished now what did i do with all that stuffing oh here it is hopefully we got enough of this i'm running out of stuffing that's how you know i've been crocheting a lot i have i'm running low i need to go get some more also where is my Usually I have a pencil for stuffing, but. Ooh, Akari says, I have glow in the dark yarn. What should I make? 
I suggest, okay, there's a few things that I think you should make with glow in the dark yarn. Um, I've been wanting to do a lot of glow in the dark yarn patterns soon, um, but a ghost, I mean, that's a, that's a no brainer. You should totally make a ghost. They, they only take a few seconds to make anyhow. So like a glow in the dark ghost is just a good idea. Um, uh, but even better, you should use it for eyes for your characters because then their eyes will glow in the dark. Like imagine if these eyes, like the whites of this, these eyes were glow in the dark. That'd be really cool. Or the teeth were glow in the dark. I don't know. I could just see in the middle of the night, like looking in the corner of the room, especially because he's magnetic and just seeing like on the wall, just glow in the dark eyes and a... <laughs> that'd be so cool. Okay. Let's add our magnets to the bottom. I'm going to do three magnets on the bottom just because this guy, I don't know, because I want to, that's why. Because I want to. Oh, Becky, thank you so much again for becoming a member. I super appreciate it. Is your... Well, I super appreciate it. I hope you enjoy all those patterns. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got a lot coming your way soon. Like a lot. I mean, I know there's already a lot on there, but I just got big plans for Club Crochet this year. Big, big plans. And you probably will know about them in a few weeks. You know, I actually was thinking, Ivy, I have a bunch of that glow in the dark yarn right now. Uh, I ordered a, like a whole bunch of it like uh, last year because I wanted to do a kit. And now I just have, I didn't end up doing that kit. And so now I just have like a lot of glow in the dark yarn. So I was actually thinking of starting to, uh, to sell it off on the website. So if you're looking, I mean, you might be able to just find some at your local craft store, but I'll probably have it up for sale in not that long too. Oh, the anglerfish pattern's a great idea. That's actually not my pattern though. That is uh, from Sir Pearl Gray. Um, I helped with it, but it is his pattern. Philip, he is a great, great, great artist. We were actually, me and him were just talking about that pattern literally like two to, two or three days ago. Um, we were chatting and I was showing him some stuff and I was like, hey, and, uh, it doesn't matter. I really like that pattern a lot. Okay, so check 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 it out mini dragon what's it about that's pretty cute oh my god mini rainbow dragon is so cute okay wait let's where's the men, magnets here if i get if i get these magnets and i put them I put them in my hand like that can he attach oh, that's backwards like that i don't know that's the right way look at that i'm a magician Okay, wait, let's try it through my finger. I think I might be able to do it through the finger. Aha! Aha ha ha! Oh, well, still. All right, let's put this guy right here. And what did y'all vote for for the, for the next dragon? Oh, pretty much everyone voted for big. Okay, all right, so we got a few options when it comes to a big dragon. So let's, oh, actually, you know what? It was 60-40, so it was pretty close. So here's our options. We're gonna do a big purple dragon, or I got another color, one second, let me grab it. I have to do this thing when I get out of this, my little live streaming corner where I can't look at Jimbo. If I look at him, he's gonna look back at me. He's gonna wanna hang out. Um, speaking of, well, first off, or green. Green or purple dragon? I'm gonna put that vote in the chat. And in the meantime, we're gonna look at this cat and we're all gonna just be in love with him. Oh my God, he's so cute. What color big dragon? Purple or green? Okay, now this vote's gonna go quick, okay? Well, I, I, we can't, I can't sit around waiting for a vote for too long. So go ahead and vote now. We'll switch back to the adorable yarn and not the adorable cat. 
Um, we're gonna try to get this vote to, we'll see, once it gets to like 20, I think I'll call it. So vote ASAP. Um, I'm gonna grab my eyes. Uh, I've got these like kind of slightly bigger eyes, so we're gonna use those because we'll need that. I also need my white yarn, which I have here. Um, for a crochet hook, by the way, both of these yarns, uh, this size crochet hook, which is eight millimeter, is a pretty good one. So we're gonna use that. And uh, y'all are gonna vote. 15 votes, five more. I'm gonna get the yarn ready, regardless of the color. Where is this? From where? Okay. All right, one more vote. Do what type of dragon? A purple or green type of dragon? We're doing a, a giant dragon, um, but like one of these little, like a l giant baby dragon is what we should, I should really say. Giant baby dragon. Vote now or forever hold your fleece. Oh, it actually looks like even if there was one more vote, it won't matter. So let's go ahead and choose it. Purple, purple. I knew it was going to be purple. I knew it was going to be purple. I knew it. Okay. So we're gonna make a giant purple baby dragon. Giant purple baby dragon. A lot of, a lot of things there. A lot of signifiers. Right there. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with their wings. And let's see, I've never made one of these. You know, I've never made a Bonomo with this kind of yarn, so. We'll see. I mean, it might be kind of tough because of how like fuzzy the yarn is. It's hard to see where your stitches are and there's a lot of weird stitches for Bonomos, but I'm very curious to see if this works. I've actually been thinking about it all week. I was like, man, we should make a giant. I wonder if that's gonna work. Oh, I'll do it on the live stream. Yeah. Two, three. One, two. It is a kind of like a munchkin dragon, I guess. This, there's so many different kinds of dragons. I love it. I love it. Okay. There's the bot. Almost got that wing done. Huh, that yarn is being weird on me, but whatever. All right, Daniel, thanks so much for joining the stream. I hope you have a nice dinner. One, two, we'll go right here. Hey, again, if you haven't yet, before you go, Daniel, please like this video. Um, we're trying to get to 250 likes to unlock a giveaway next live stream. So if you like this video, prove it. Okay. Luckily, since this pattern is so fresh, I can, I think I can just do it without even looking at the pattern now. At the very least, I can do that for the wings. I might need to use a tighter or smaller crochet hook though, because it's looking pretty loosey goosey. Well, it might not be that bad actually. Okay, last stitch for our first of our wings. Hey, that's, that's actually really good. That is not bad at all. I thought that was gonna look way more weird. That's not too bad, even a little bit. Oh my gosh. I hope people start to make these and sell them on Etsy. People do that with the Triceratops a lot. And I just think this would be a great, a great thing to sell on Etsy, personally. Ooh, ramen. Ooh, maybe I'll do ramen tonight. Ah, oh, thanks, Linda. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do make up a lot of stitches, <laughs> to be fair. One, two, three. Okay. Like that. 
Yeah, also, um, I mean, y'all might not care too much about this part, but memberships really are, like, the way that this... The, the way I can stay doing this. Like, everybody that has a membership, you seriously have kept my life afloat. So I just really want you to know, if you have a membership out there, it does not go unnoticed. It is extreme... I'm extremely thankful for everybody that has a Club Crochet membership, because it it's just huge it's it really really is beneficial to letting me continue to make these kind of things so thank you so much if you have one um okay one two and three i'm gonna go right see it's hard to tell because the yarn is so fluffy where the stitch is I'm super curious of how the eyes go for this. We might have to make the eyes in a different way because I just don't know how a bobble stitch is really going to look in this yarn. But we'll see. Maybe maybe there won't be a problem at all. Maybe. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, cut the yarn. Fluffers. Okay. Teeth. Next is the teeth. How's our Jimbo? Oh, so cute. So cute. Fluffy tooth. My gosh. Hey, that's not bad. That looks like a little tooth. I mean, a fluffy one, but tooth nonetheless. Oh, thanks, Mel. Dude, I should make a burb with this blanket yarn. That would be a great idea. Have I ever made dice bags? Oh, shoot. That's what I wanted to do today. Not a dice bag, but an egg. I totally forgot. Okay, after this, after this dragon, we're gonna try to make an egg. Because I have a really fun idea. A really fun idea. I, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in the time allotted, but we might. We might have enough time to do it. I forgot. I totally forgot. I had that idea like a couple of nights ago. I was like, oh, dang. That's okay. We'll have enough time, I think. It's We still got half the time left. Okay. We got our teeth. We got our wings. Let's get working on the body. Man, I'm going to need a vacuum in here after this yarn, though. Question. Akari asks what they should make. What should they make? I'm gonna go with something, something easy. Oh, make ramen, crochet ramen. That's gotta be the easiest thing ever to crochet. All you gotta do is make a bowl and then put a bunch of loose yarn in it. Actually, what you'd probably wanna do is make a bowl and then crochet like a ball with yellow yarn and then just pull that ball out so it's all like wibbly wobbly like ramen. You're done. Maybe add an egg in there, you know, a little tiny crocheted egg. That'd be pretty cute. But how would you be able to keep the yarn? Huh, the question is how would you keep the yarn like there? You might need to put like starch or something on the yarn to keep it from just being loose. I don't know. It's not a, I don't think it's a terrible idea though. Okay, so now we're making the body of our giant baby dragon. Oxymoron. Giant dinos. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to tell. Sure. Okay. Come on. Get in there. Okay. Okay. All right, 
right, now is going to be the tricky part. I made these for the giant dragon that we crocheted the other week, so I think I can do it. I think I can, I think I can, but a spiked bobble is sure to be not super easy. Let's find out. We got a lot of squeaky, squeaky yarn here. Okay. Again, going off of feeling more than sight for knowing how to do that. And one, two. All right, there's one of our horns. Hey, that's not, actually, that's not that bad. That, that could have gone, that could have gone worse. Okay. Here, no, right, no, yeah, wait. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need a white yarn now. This is tricky, no question there. Make a worm. <laughs> yeah, make a worm with just a, just a strand of yarn. pretty hunky no question Why did you burn yourself? What'd you do that for? You're not supposed to do that. It's like, it's like, it's like pretty important actually not to burn yourself. I don't know. Maybe you've never heard about that, but that's kind of like a pretty important thing to do is to not burn yourself. that fuzz I hate that fuzz is coming through I don't want it there whatever there's only so much I can do okay cut the white yarn that anymore okay next horn is here tough one here we go one two this is gonna be really tough when we get to the mouth in like the next few rounds three it's pretty good one two yeah it's not too bad uh, and then this goes into the same stitch like that all right all right, that's the head. That's the top of the head. That's that's. I mean, it's working. It's working. Hi, Sarah. How are you? One, two. That's two. And then three. And then we make the mouth. Okay.
the head hey you know what this is looking not bad looking a little creepy right now but once we add eyes and stuff it shouldn't be too bad I the problem is the eyes that I have are not that big so he's gonna have very tiny eyes but that shouldn't be too bad why do I go live on Thursdays um I go live on Thursdays for a few reasons uh main one being it's just the easiest day of the week for me to go live and um I used to do Sundays um, but Sundays were really hard for me because like, you know, it's the weekend. Jules doesn't work on the weekends. So it was like the only day of the week, like it was a, it was just not a good, it just wasn't working out right there. I just had to miss out on a bunch of stuff. Like, uh, like going to see nieces and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I want to move it to a weekday. And then um, the start of the week is really rough for me. And then I didn't really want to do Friday. I guess I could do Fridays, though. I could try Fridays. I, I could try switching it up, too. Let's see. Boom, boom. One, two. Three. part's tough i'm just kind of like going with it I'll tell you what though this is not easy on the wrist oh it does hurt your wrist to crochet with this giant yarn <clears throat> okay increase here one and two and the last two are right here I need a bigger crochet hook. Like I need a, I need one of these crochet hooks, but like with a handle. That would probably make my life a lot easier. Hey, there you go. That's coming together. It's looking like a bit like how it's supposed to. All right, round five. should be pretty downhill from here. One, two, three, and another increase. There we go. There we go. <laughs> they always look so funny without their eyes or their teeth. They kind of just look like creepy demons or something.
Yeah, I definitely think in the future I'd like to test out different days, Bakari. The other thing is once I start to get into like a rhythm, people expect, you know, like I've been doing the live streams now for on Thursdays for over a year. So now people are kind of used to that. Oh, Adonis, I hope you're having a great day at work. I hope you're having a great break for work too. Okay, we are on to our next one. Three, we should be able to finish this. Maybe we can finish this before Adonis is off break for work. Where do you work, Adonis? I mean, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to. I'm just curious. My very first job, well, actually, okay, so my first job ever, I worked at a donut shop um, uh, in Southern California. And I was 15 at the time. I, uh, I don't think legally I was allowed to work. He paid me in cash. And I worked at a donut shop in the middle of the day. So no one came in. You work at the library? Oh my god, that's so cool. One of my best friends works for the library too. Here in here in uh, the city that I live in. I love the library. One of the top ten. Also, the library here um, is like amazing. Really, really, really good library. Oh shoot, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's supposed to be this stitch then. There we go. And then three. One, two. Wow, you must have a very relaxing work then. That sounds really nice. Um, yeah, so my first job was at a donut shop and I, uh, no one would come in because I, I like, I started work at like two after class, two or three. And then I just slept in the back room until I heard someone come in. <laughs> I was a really bad employee. <laughs> Really not good. Um, hey, Dad. My dad's in the chat. That's who Bobby 4M Metalworks is. That's my that's my pops. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm just counting my stitches so I know I didn't lose anything. Seven. We're good. Okay. Body's coming together. Let's add the face now. Dude, it was a super chill job and I ate way too many donuts. We would, we would have to like throw out all the donuts at the end of the day. So I would just steal them all and bring them to homeless people around town. Um, slash to my parents or my brother or I'd bring them to school the next day. It was the best. I got literally, af at the end of the the work day, I would take hundreds of donuts home. And I remember my boss got all pissed at me because he said, I'm wasting boxes. And I was like, what? You're complaining over the boxes? Okay, then take them out of my pay, I guess. Like, I, I don't know what you want me to do here. Like. They're boxes. <laughs> like he wasn't mad about me taking these donuts that we were just gonna throw out, but he was mad at the idea of taking all these boxes. I'm like, dude, what a, what, you're wasting like so much food. Oh, sunshine. Oh. I appreciate that feedback. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to put them into the calendar a little bit more um, in the future, so we can we can have a little bit more variety of when the live streams are. I'm sorry that I haven't been doing Sunday ones often. 
There's a tooth. That's a pretty cute tooth. All right, next side. There. Okay. All right, so we got our teeth on there. Now it's gonna be the fun part of figuring out how to do, oh, did I miss a big cat stretch? Oh, that's so cute. Dang, I wish I saw that. Okay, next we wanna add eyes. I, these are the biggest eyes I have right now that are all black. So we'll try with these ones first. One. So yeah, we'll try with these ones. Hopefully these work. Because if not, I have some other ones, but they're not as cute. Hey, that's, hey, you know what? That's not too bad. Or we can make them go that way. We can put them over on this side like this. To make them like a little derpy. What do you think? Derpy? <laughs> you know what? We can't do derpy. He's looking too far over that way. We got to do it right. Let's do it right down the Right down the center like that. Where's the other eye? Where's the other eye? There we go. Oh, thanks, Adonis. Yeah, I have been, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty quick, pretty quick at making these patterns now. Not bad. All right, let's get the backs on these. Ooh, that's like a giant back. That actually might work pretty well for us right now. Let's see, can I find any other big, ridiculous big ones? That one's pretty good. Okay, so let's start with this gigantic one. No, it's too big. Too open. We want something smaller. Oh, do you hear that pop of the eye getting snapped on there? <laughs> it got so pulled in that he's like, <laughs> Let's try this one. Tina! Oh, I love the new thumbnail, Tina. Oh, actually, that's not that new. I've seen it before. Little King Goblin. How are you? Okay, that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. He looks very silly, but I'm cool with it. I'm chilling with that. I just want to make this skin pulled in a little bit so the eye is less crazy. That's not bad. That's actually, that's pretty good. Get these horns a little crimped a little. All right. Let's finish this up. Let's do the uh, the rest of the pattern. I mean, we're pretty far along now. My friend gave me these new pants. Like they're they're almost like pajamas, but they're just oh I can tighten them actually. They're just a little big. They keep falling off. Oh shoot. Oh they broke. That's why they're so loose. They totally broke. <laughs> Uh, that's what you get, I guess. <laughs> Good thing you guys can't see my lower half because my pants are going to fall down. I'm doing A-OK, -okay, Tina. Thanks for asking. Having a nice, chill day. Um, flying up to San Francisco tomorrow to, to see Jules. Very excited. 
Autism matters. I like the. <laughs> it's a very unique name, and I agree. How are you? We're live. That's right. Okay, now we're making the legs. This should be very. In oh shoot! I forgot to make the tail. Hold on. Tail goes here. There we go. Okay, tail first. One, two. Boom. Tail. That works. Okay, now to the legs. How many stitches between legs? Or between tail and legs? Four, okay. One, two, three, and four. I mean, this is a pretty hunky boy. We could chuck this at someone and he would do some damage. I will say hi for you, Tina. Once I see her tomorrow. She's picking me up for the airport around four, so. Around then. One, two, three, and there's four. Four. Woo! One heck of a bobble stitch. A single crochet. Okay, there's one leg. Big, a big leg. It's a honky bobble stitch. Hey, Bubby Crafts, how you doing? All right, Adonis, have have a nice day at work. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, hey, like this video too before you go. That'd be cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in, the, in a future live stream, Adonis. Thanks for popping in. Okay. Next leg right here. One, two, three, one more. Right there. Four. Shoot. I think there's three stitches between legs. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Boom. Got him. Oh, we do live together. Yeah, we do live together, Tina. She's just in San Francisco for a show right now. She's uh, she's doing, she's in a musical called um, uh, Merrily We Roll Along. So she went up there, she's been staying up there for like a, she's gonna be up there for like a month staying with her parents. Yeah, we miss her. Me, Phoebe, and Jimbo are missing her terribly, but she'll be back soon. A couple more weeks. Show opens on Saturday. I'm going to opening night, and then it's just a, it runs for only a couple of weeks, and then uh, it's over. And she'll be back, and maybe she'll look for the next show down here. Hopefully, <laughs> oh, I know this joke, Akari. Go ahead, keep saying it. C keep it all going so I there's no pause in between the chat when I say the entire joke. Okay, so there's the second foot. Because I know we'll need to say the whole joke in one fell swoop. 
I used to think that was one foul swoop because it was like a bird swooping down. But it's one fell swoop. Isn't that a weird... What a weird saying. Okay. There's our body nearly done. Clayton! Oh, it's all good, Clayton. Good morning to you. I hope you're having a great day. Where are you waking up from? Okay, invisible decreases here. Uh, I need to switch the song. I'm pretty sure this song keeps giving me a cease and desist, actually. Okay. Um, in a musical... Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, she's she is an actress. She does a, a lot of musicals. She used to do a lot, lot of musicals. Like, she did, like... She, at one time, I think she was doing five or six musicals a year. It was crazy. When, in, like, 2019 or 2018, she was doing... An insane amount um, but then the pandemic hit and all the theaters closed so she had to stop for a little bit but now it's back open and a show that she was planned to do before the pandemic uh, was like hey now we're gonna do it and she was like okay I can do it and now she's up there and she's like this is a lot of work I'm like yeah it was a lot easier when we lived up there but she's staying with her parents and, and working. She works in the city. So I think it's just been, it has been a very busy, busy, busy month for Jules. done so now we can just sew on our wings and then stuff start the stuffing process um, we do need to add magnets I think we're gonna need to add a lot of magnets in this guy to keep him because he's really heavy you know what I think actually what we'll do is we'll put all the magnets in the base of him instead of in the top of him so that way he can you know like well it would be nice to have things stack on top of him let's see if we put these in here let's go with just three of them if we put these three in here, what is it? It's gonna be this way. Will this guy attach? Can we put him up there? Oh. Is that? Oh, we're gonna need more than three. It almost stays. Uh, but let's add our wings first, anyhow. I'm reading Akari's joke right now. Such a long joke, Akari. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, we were adding the wings. Lost track. Okay. One and then two and then one and then two. We can go one here. Yeah, is this a joke or just lyrics to a song? I know a joke that's somewhat similar, actually, but here I'll do I'll do my version of your duck joke, okay? I think it's I think this is around the same joke. It goes, 
A duck walks into a bar and asks the bartender, Hey bartender, you got any grapes? The bartender's like, a talking duck? This is crazy already, but no, we don't need grapes. This is a bar. Why would we have any grapes? And he goes, Mah. okay. And he leaves. And then he comes back the next day and uh, the duck wall waddles in. He goes, hey, bartender, got any grapes? And the bartender goes, what the heck? You were just here yesterday. I told you yesterday we don't have any grapes. Get out of here. And the duck goes, Mah. all right. And he leaves. Well, the next day, the duck comes in again, and the bartender's like, oh my god, this guy again. And the duck goes, Mah. yeah, you got any grapes? And he goes, oh my god, dude. No, we don't have any grapes. And if you come in here again, I'm going to nail your feet to the floor. We do not have any grapes. Get out of here. And he goes, Mah. all right, sorry. And he leaves. Well, the next day, sure enough, noon rolls around, and the duck waddles on in and the bartender's like oh my god this guy again what what do you want and the duck goes whoa relax right he goes huh? do you got any nails and the bartender goes nails no we don't have any nails and he goes oh okay well you got any grapes and that's the joke <laughs> And so, yeah, that's uh, that's the joke. Uh, I'll be here for another little bit longer. <laughs> All right, we're not going to put a magnet in the head. It just doesn't work. But I will put a magnet in the base of it. I'll put a few magnets in the base of it so that he can still try to perch on something metal. Um, I'm starting by stuffing all the, uh, the extra threads in there. And then... We'll add some regular stuffing after this last round. But I would say that this giant yarn worked pretty well for this for this uh, dragon, so that's kind of cool. My favorite kinds of jokes, the ones that I laugh at the most, are the jokes that have that they're not jokes at all. Uh, they're called anti-jokes. I just, for some reason, I think anti-jokes, jokes with like a crazy big setup, but then they don't have any real punchline are so funny to me. I don't know why, but they really are. They make me laugh so hard. I'll give you I'll give you another example in, in a bit of my the joke that I one of the jokes that made me laugh so hard that I'm gonna tell you it though and you're not gonna think it's funny I guarantee you're gonna be like this joke is not that funny which honestly is one of the reasons why it's so funny to me <laughs> live stream uh, hey dad uh, live stream should be over in uh, about an hour I'm gonna try doing one more thing uh, and then the live stream will be over um, I've got an idea that I really want to try. Okay, stuffing, stuffing. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to need a lot of magnets in this. Probably five, I'm going to guess. Five on the bottom, at least, maybe. We'll try it. We'll try five and see how that goes. Wow, you're a honky. You honky. All right, let's try five of these. That's a lot. That's a lot of magnet. We're just going to try it right here in the front first and just see if another magnet can attach to the outside like that. Yeah, I mean, that works. Will it hold him up though? I'm gonna try it right up here. Oh yeah, that holds it for sure. Oopsies. No! I'll fix that later. Okay. 
one of my, I have like a super strong magnet that's right up here, just so that this thing help my light box holds up and it just fell. So hopefully that doesn't fall down soon. All right, let's sew this closed. And then I'll grab the materials that I need for my last thing that I wanna make. Um, I wanna try crocheting an egg for one of these baby dragons. Cause I just think it'd be so cool. And I don't think it'll take that long. I am gonna be making it on the fly though. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Cooper is making a giant uh, Chubzilla. Yeah, that's my dad. Bobby is my dad. Pops. Pull it closed like that. Shocking amount of yarn came through there. And we'll pull it out like this. And pull these magnets off because they don't need to be there. And we'll cut it close. All right, baby dragon. Giant, gigantic baby dragon has been made. All right, let's see how well, let's see. We'll, we'll try the magnets on our, these, just these scissors. Where is it? Right there. I can feel it a little bit. Oh, barely holds on. Oh, well, it holds the scissors. Oh, there we go. Hey, it works. Good, he's got a little bit of grip. Perfect. Okay, now we got a giant dragon and a baby dragon. Look at how, look at the color, look at that. Wow, wild. Wild. Super cool though. Okay. All right, last thing I wanna do is make, try making an egg for one of these dragons. And, and I got an idea. So let me start by grabbing, I have these Easter eggs that I think would be perfect for this. So let me go grab an Easter egg. Uh, in the meantime, Gigantic Easter eggs. We're gonna go with green. Actually, the loudest bag in the world. Okay, let's go with this one. We'll go with blue. Okay, so we got this Easter egg, right? I think if I crochet, I think I can crochet around it a like a, a dragon egg, like shell kind of thing. And then our little dragon could be in the egg. I think this will fit in the egg. Let's make sure though. Oh yeah, he'll fit in there. Might be a bit of a squish, but that'll totally work. Cool. That's what we're gonna try doing. And while I'm doing that, I will tell you my terrible joke that is just not funny at all, but I still love it. Uh, it goes, how does it start? Oh, huh. forgot to change. My bad. <laughs> uh, anyhow, here's the egg that we're gonna go with. And in our dragon little, little guy fits in there, see? Oh, you love the pants, you saw the pants. I didn't realize that they were on camera. <laughs> That's cool. Um, okay, the joke goes, like this. One day I walked into Jules's office and I had a giant orange head. 
And I go in and Jules is like, whoa, Lou, what is going on with your head there? I was like, oh, Jules, I, I made a mistake. I, I made a terrible mistake. She was like, okay, well, what happened? What happened? I said, ugh. So I got a genie. I, f I found a genie bottle and um, well, it, it gave me three wishes. She goes, okay, well, what did you wish for? I said, well, you know, I, I thought, well, I'll start with the first wish, really easy. I said, you know what, I, Jeannie, I want, I want all the money that I'll ever need. I, I, I want, I wish for as much money as I'll ever need in my life. And the genie snapped his fingers and then bam, I looked at my bank account. I had all the money I'll ever need. I had millions and millions of dollars in my bank account. I was like, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. She goes, okay, well, what'd you wish for your second wish? And I said, oh yeah, the second wish. Well, for the second wish, I wished uh, for, I wish that I will ne would never have any problems again uh, to worry about. Uh, that that I I have the best luck. I actually know it. No, I'm sorry. That's not. I, I I'm remembering a different genie. For my second wish, I wished that I um. Hold on. I'm trying to think of a good second wish. <laughs> Oh, uh, easy one. I said, you know, for the second wish, I said, I want something simple. I want to be able to fly. I wish I could fly. Genie snapped his fingers and bam, I could float. It was so easy. I could just fly whenever I wanted. And I was so cool. I was like, wow, that's so amazing. And Jules was like, um, okay. So what was your third wish? And I said, oh, Jules, this is where I really think I goofed up. <sighs> For my third wish, I wished for um, I wish for a giant orange head. <laughs> oh, that joke is so bad. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. I love it so much. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, one of my favorite jokes. <laughs> oh, just a really, really bad joke. Just a really bad joke. Okay, now here's my idea here. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I've got an idea for how to make a shelled uh, dragon egg. So we're gonna see if this works. I actually don't think two chains is a good idea. I'll just do one. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, you can try to tell me a joke that'll make me laugh. I hope it will make me laugh. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm a pretty, pretty easy to make laugh though. But go for it, my dude. I wish you the best of luck. Give me a good joke. I don't know if this is gonna work as well as I want it to, but it might. And because I don't really know what I'm doing right now, I'm not even going to bother ex trying to explain it because, yeah, I don't even know if this is going to work in general. Yeah, I think that's our stitch. But if it starts to work, I'll, I'll explain what's going on. What do you call a bagel that 
can fly. What do you call a bagel that can fly? I know what you, I know what you call a bagel that's that you find near the ocean. Called that's called a seagull. But what is a bagel that can fly? I don't know what. What do you call a bagel that can fly? And it's hands Lee has a good joke too, apparently. Let's hear it. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what the joke is, Onyx. The joke is that <laughs> the joke is that I wish for a giant orange head. <laughs> there's no it, the joke is that there's not a joke. A plain bagel? <laughs> you, wait, what are you? Oh, a plain bagel. Oh my god. That's, <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> so dumb. Love it. Great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oopsies. Did I miss a stitch? Oh no, it's this right here. This might work. I don't know. I'm trying something weird here. I'm trying something weird. <sighs> Come on. This stitch is fighting me. Right? Here is where I want to get my crochet hook. There we go. It just needed a little bit of convincing, that's all. One, two, and then chain one and we'll slip switch. I don't know if this is gonna work. <clears throat> okay, your friend saw a kid crying on, so he asked the kid where he was. Oh, where was the kid's parents? Anyways, my friend works at an orphanage. joke about a bear I can't remember oh oh yes yes um it goes how did it go oh yes okay I remember how the joke goes it goes I guess it goes a polar bear walks into a bar sits down at the bar and bartender's like what can I get for you and the polar bear goes Oh, you know, it's been a long day. I'll take a, uh, I'll take a Jack and, uh, Coke. And the bartender goes, okay, I can get you for, I can get you that, no problem. But, um, what, what was with the huge paws? And he goes, what, these? <laughs> I was born with them. Terrible joke, terrible joke. That used to be my joke that I would tell on first dates. I don't think I did that at, uh, on my first date with Jules, which is probably why she's dating me. <laughs> I don't know if this is really gonna work the way I want it to. I don't think it will, but whatever. When and how did Jules and I get engaged? I 
Uh, we got engaged in when was that? July, June or July last year. Um, she proposed to me, which was the coolest thing ever. Um, with a crocheted a crocheted uh, ring actually, and she had herself a knit ring. And she took me to shake the Shakespeare Garden in San Francisco. And I had no idea at all that she was going to propose. It was completely a surprise. And it was one of the coolest days of my entire life. And that is how it happened. And then uh, I proceeded to run around and tell everybody that uh, she had proposed to me. And it was, it was a very cool day. And that was, yeah, that was it. And now I owe, I owe her a proposal. I don't owe her a proposal, but I do want to propose to her before we get married. So that she gets that moment too. Because it feels very good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, it is pretty neat. All right, I, I honestly, I don't know if this, this system that I'm doing here is gonna work at all, but we'll see. I might, I might end up giving up on it soon. One, two, three. We'll go to five. Five. One. Two. I think this is not a bad idea that I've got right now, but I just don't think I started it off very good. So we're kind of like, I'm kind of like going to like see if it works or not. I mean, it may, let's put it this way. This would make a really good, look at that. That'd make a really cute flower. So yeah, we'll do that. What's a pirate's favorite chocolate? Dark chocolate? That's just, you, you know what? I got a better one, Akari. What's a pirate's favorite letter? You think it be R, but it be the C. Actually, an even better one than that. What's a pay? What's a f oh? And what's a pi what's a pirate's least favorite letter? That's the other question. What's a pirate's least favorite letter? Dear sir or ma'am, we are writing to inform you that your <laughs> that we are sending you a lawsuit for stealing uh for for illegally downloading this co uh, this movie um yeah that's a that's a pirate's least favorite letter get it because like they're pirate Baby Zoe's joke is Baby Seal walks into a bar. <laughs> this is bad. Baby Seal walks into a bar. Bartender asks, what can I get you? The Baby Seal says, anything but a Canadian club on the rocks. That's <laughs> so bad. That's a terrible joke. I, I <laughs> but it made me laugh. <laughs> it's super bad. Super funny. All right. This is going to be very interesting. See, the idea is I'm going to cover this with this, and it'll just have these shells going down, right? So it'll look like scales. But they don't really look like scales. It kind of looks like a flower, which is totally fine. Like, honestly, I think this is a great... I, I've learned something very good because I can totally use this to make a, a very simple rose, which I'll do soon. But not really what I was going for right now. Onyx, you can happily tell a joke. I'll, I, I will read it out loud if it is not 
uh, absolutely terrible. You should, you should absolutely tell the joke regardless. Let's hear it. <laughs> Zoe, that joke was, joke is great. <laughs> Suddenly I just want to make this into a flower, a green flower. <laughs> You can go for it, Clayton. I'll, I'll let you know if it's chat appropriate by not saying it. <laughs> I mean, if it's not chat appropriate, I mean. This is a great technique. Definitely not what I was going for, but not a bad technique at all. It's cool to know that it works. You can kind of see, see how it'd be like scales. Like the idea would be scales. I think if I did these as like little points instead, it might look more like scales. Also, if I didn't do it in green, like if I did a red one or something. But see how it's like, you know, it'll like be scales down the piece. We'll see. I knew that one, Moya. I feel like everyone knows that one, Moya. Okay. I'm reading Onyx's joke. That's the first half. Let's hear the second half. Before I say it out loud. Super cute flower though. Did not, not on purpose, but super cute flower. <laughs> yes, I know there's a dragon scale stitch. I could totally do that, but I don't know. I just want to try something weird. I'm going to totally use this for a flower pattern though. Okay, all right, that's not a bad joke. All right, <clears throat> Onyx's joke. So I went with my friend up to fill my tires and we parked the car and got out. Uh, I asked my friend if I could have some change for the machine. And she goes, what the heck do we have to pay? We have to pay for the air? And so I thought for a second, thinking the same thing. And then I realized inflation. But I'm <laughs> I even gave you the badumch just for you on Onyx. Oh my gosh, Clayton. <laughs> Clayton, that's that's really funny. I'm not going to say it on the I'm not going to say it, but it's a very funny joke. I like it. <laughs> That's one of those not my jokes to say kind of jokes. <laughs> All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. We'll go here. Five. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to get it bigger or not? Are we going to give up on this or not? 
It looks like it's just gonna be like a really weird looking fuzzy thing. It's a super cool technique though. I'm definitely gonna use this for like a bunch of stuff in the future. Like, look at that, that could be a hedgehog. This could be a pattern for a hedgehog. Or this could be a pattern for, I mean, so many things I could do with this. Very good to know, very good to know. What did the cheese say when they looked in the mirror? What did the cheese say when he looked in the mirror? Hello, me. <laughs> Hello, me. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. Oh, I love that joke, Ivy. I say, I, I was saying that joke. I saw that. Uh, it's like a TikTok or something with a little kid that says it. It's so good. This is the joke that Ivy just said in the chat. Why are chickens so funny? My gosh. So good. Just a solid, just a super solid joke. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Everybody, there's my dad in the chat who hasn't made our tree that we need in the background yet. Dad, we've been waiting for a metal tree forever. Dad. I think I asked you for that for my birthday. Dad. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One piece here. Five, six. All right, I'm just gonna do a few more rounds of this and then I'm gonna call it because this is not gonna work out. But it was fun experimenting and we got two big dragons, so it's all good. One, two, three, four. I think I might've done this too many rounds. Count my stitches real quick. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, come on, dad. One, two. Fun to experiment with crochet. It's fun to experiment with crochet. That's what we're doing here today. We're experimenting with crochet. Making a cute rose, not on purpose though. It's gonna be real cool looking though. And I just rhymed though with though. Dang, I was on a roll for a second. Like what a fun hedgehog pattern this is gonna end up being eventually, or rose or whatever. Whatever we end up doing with it. Very cool looking. ideas for you oh thanks dreaming yes he's very cute very cute kitty right now you are not wrong <clears throat> akari says that he they gave their girlfriend uh your girlfriend asked them to pass them the their lipstick and they said okay sure but they actually accidentally passed the glue stick and um, ever since she hasn't been talking to them but um <laughs> whoa Cooper's making a giant Chubzilla and the head is getting so big that he can wear it as a mask. That is super cool. This isn't bad.
it's just not it's not exactly what we're looking for but it does it's starting to do the trick a little bit i'm just imagining it being like it's going to be huge by the time i get to the bottom of this so it's just not going to work for what we want it to but it's not a bad it's not a bad technique i'm glad we tried it still and we'll have a little little crocheted bush that we can use for a background of a crochet landscape thing so that'll work too because this kind of looks like a crocheted bush doesn't it a little bit a little bit yeah if it was like sitting in the corner yeah totally <laughs> That's <laughs> That just sounds like an actual altercation, Tina. That sounds like something you actually heard on the bus. Project list. Six foot Chubzilla. Oh my god, can you imagine? Is that like this tall of a Chubzilla? I'm just kidding, I'm six foot. I'm basically six foot. Like if you got if you got rid of a few inches off six foot, like that probably I'm like basically there. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It, it like a, a forest dragony kind of egg. I mean it's it's it works. Like it's not not gonna work. Oopsies. Just not exact. I want it to be. I think I want the scales to be a little pointier. I think next time. But you know what? I can experiment with this later. Sue, so we actually did a Christmas tree using basically. I kind of like this technique, which is why I was thinking about this actually, was because it, uh, during Christmas time we did like a live pattern. And uh, this was kind of the technique that I used. Actually, pretty close to the technique that I used for it. So that's why I was like, hey, maybe this will work for an egg. And it kind of does. It could work. You know, if this kept going all the way down. And then I need to do, I need to do a bunch of chains to keep going so that I can keep it connected. And then we glue it to the egg. Like this would keep going down about like that big. It could work. It could work. But I kind of think it works. Like, I think we should call it. I think we should call it here and just say, you know what? This is a nice technique that we have learned. We can use this for a little cute little crocheted thing that we can add to the backdrop or, or to, a, to a whatever or whatever but I think for now I think we should call it here are you doing dinner with us I don't know it's up to you if you want to come over for dinner you totally can um yeah if, if, I mean it wouldn't hurt I wouldn't mind it okay now I'm going to do that and we're gonna cut the yarn I'm just gonna leave this open like that and uh, I guess I'll just I'll just hide this end while we're at it because I have stuff here. I'm gonna go from there. Yeah, but the Christmas tree I think was a little bit different. I used different stitches and stuff. It was pretty close to a similar, similar idea. Okay, so now we have a weird little crocheted bush for our dragon. <laughs> Here, he's got a cute little hair, hairdo now. Let's put on our big guy. There you go, wow, beautiful. What a beautiful hairdress, wow. Super cute. It's, it's his tail now. <laughs> okay guys 
No, I'm having him over here so I can show him how to do the kitty letter. While I'm gone. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining today's live stream. I know it was a little bit of a weird one, but you know what? It was kind of fun. Look at this giant dragon we made. Unfortunately, I will not be live next week because I'm going to San Francisco and I have a lot of things I got to work on next week. Trust me, it's going to be for the best. But I will be live the week after. Um, let me just make sure real quick. Let me, let me look at my, my calendar. Because I don't want to say something I'm, that's not true. Uh, yes, okay, so I'm not going to be live next Thursday. Next Thursday is going to be the 30th. It's going to be the last um, Thursday in March. Um, we won't be doing that. I'm going to take a break, just a week break. Uh, and then when I get back... Uh, it'll be the week after, um, the 6th of August, uh, and we're going to be making a bunny. We're going to be crocheting a bunny. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, thank you guys so much for all the jokes. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, Linda, you want a quick ex explanation on what I did? I sure can give you that. Um, here is the basic gist of what I did. I crocheted uh, simply into the center of a magic loop here. And then into the next round, I did these little shells. I did like two half double crochets, but I only worked into the front loops. So I did half double cro two half double crochets, and then I slip stitched to make like these little shells. And I just repeated that around. When I finished the round there, the round afterwards, um, after that, I crocheted into the back loops only that I didn't use to make these shells to make it a little bit bigger and I increased to make it larger. And then I just kept doing that all the way around. So every other round was making these shells and then the round prior was making the next round to make it bigger on the inside. So that's kind of how I did it. Um, but I will be working on a pattern for something like this very soon. So just hold tight. I'll make this into something very, very soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again. Uh, thank you for the uh, safe trip uh, comments too. I appreciate that. And uh, April, April, April 6th will be the next live stream, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be making bunnies for Easter. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, pasta la pizza. Happy hooking, and I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. Oh my God, stop. No, you hang up. Oh wait, you know what? We need to do one thing, which is to stare at this cat for a little bit. Wow. 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 Look at that cat. That sure is a cat. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna pet that cat. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm actually gonna say bye. So let me go pet this cat. Bye, everybody. Oh, he's so sleepy. Bye.